hello and welcome back to my cooking channel and again if you saw the video that i post about my cookbook um this is what i'm having uh, for dinner tonight um this is leftover as you see it's still frozen and this is leftover um the taco hamburger stew uh, that i cooked two weeks ago and um and what i'm just gonna add is just the vesper and stuff so Again, if you saw the uh, first video I post, maybe the first video, maybe the second video, I have no idea when it's going to come out. But anyway, um, this is what I'm having for dinner and stuff. And this basically is part of my dad mother stew, you guys, okay? So let me go ahead and, and defrost this. This is not going to be a long video, okay? Because everything is cooked. Because I just took this out of my freezer. And I don't think I have to do just add my mist Vespa. Okay. I'll see you guys when I put everything together. Alright. Bye-bye. Well, not bye-bye. I'll see you in a minute. Everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got it. Super defrost. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my pot. <clears throat> well, that's not all the ways uh, defrost, but that's okay, you know. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn my fire. It's not all the way, but this what I do is I just kind of show you how I kind of break it up. Okay, so what I do, I just take a knife, just go like this, see, just, just break it up. Yeah, that way I don't have to really add no water to it. I might have to add, and normally I don't add no water because if I add water all the flavor and stuff, you know, it would kind of get, <clears throat> when you add regular water, it would kind of get, uh, lose some of the flavor. So I'm going to use either chicken broth or, I think I got, I probably use beef, beef, beef broth. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I'm doing that, you guys, see? And once it did get heated up, then I add my uh, frozen mixed Vespa. Okay? So I'm just showing you guys how I do that. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. You know, early in the video, you know, when I say I'm making my dead um, mudderkin soup or a stew okay because this is a stew stew is where you add vespa and soup is wait a minute did i get it backwards what's the difference between soup and stew i think stew is where you add vespa but anyway uh i earlier in the in, in this video i did say that was ground. I'm so sorry. That wasn't ground beef. That was my uh, uh, my uh, green chili uh, beef stew. That's what that was. Okay. So if you really look at it, and this is perfect, perfect. Cause this is what kind of when my father uh, back in the day she used to use smoked neck bone or if he didn't have no smoke. You know, he put like two different uh, meat in his uh, medical stew. So, uh, if 
uh, he used this beef right here. See, this is see, this is what they sell. It's not ground beef. So this is perfect for my uh, uh, my dead mother can stew. See, that's cured beef roast. See, so this is perfect, perfect for my dead uh, mother can stew. Sorry about that, you guys. I, I thought um, I must have ate up all of that. The taco. Uh, hamburger soup. I must have ate it all. But yeah, this is the other one. I may have made the uh, uh, the green chili um, stew. And that's most of the what all the chili and stuff. See all this right here? All this ingredient is what my father used for his mother can stew as well. Alrighty. Good. All right, so it's not ground beef. Yeah, that was my bad. I should have wrote the name of it because when you don't, uh, when you put stuff in the freezer, you have to label the name of it, you know. But yeah, and I thought it was ground beef, but it's not. Okay. So even though. Uh, that first video that I posed, even though uh, that say uh, it said it, it was ground beef, but anyway, that's gonna be a whole different. Um, that's gonna be a whole different uh, video, you know, that I upload. Now, like I said, this is my dinner, or my dad mother can stew. Okay. So yeah, so welcome back to, to my cooking channel, you guys. Making my um, hope you guys uh, uh, go and check out some of the recipe I got in my cookbook. You know, and uh, if you know someone that loves southern cooking recipe, order them one for you know order them one one for Christmas. You know. Especially if you know someone that don't know how to cook but want to learn how to cook southern food, order one and send them and give give them as a Christmas gift. You know, share 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 my cookbook with you guys and you know buy my cookbook. I really appreciate you guys. You do it will help me a lot. You know, yeah. Okay. Want to come back and classify that? Okay, this is almost heated up. Add my um, now since it's deep fried, I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetable because just remember this is already cooked. So, this is my mixed vegetable, a uh, vegetable I'm gonna add with it, and this is what my father added with his mother can do. I think I need to add too much of this. So I got a lot of liquid in it. I might have to just add a little down for season. And again, like I said, you want to learn how to make my father mother can stew, just order my cookbook, you guys. Yeah. See how they do? And this is mostly when you make it this is really how it look yeah. okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a little of this <clears throat> beef stock Just to give a little flavor. That's about it. That's about it. That's about enough. 
I just out I bought it. When you a cook, you know just about enough. You know. Oops, sorry. Yep. So I'm just putting the top on it just to let the vegetable cook. And then sometimes the vegetable don't uh, cook. That kind of vegetable is just only seven minutes and it'll be done. Okay, my stew is ready, you guys. Ooh, got that steam. Trying to the So you guys, I look. Hope you guys like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family. Show me what's cooking on my cooking channel. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, thank you guys so much. And also be subscribe. Thanks again for subscribing to my cooking channel. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, subscribe, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. So they was cooking on my cooking channel. See all that beef? Look. That's what you call a good stew. And again, like I said, this is your first time watching my cooking videos. So share, share with your friends and family as well. Subscribe, like, comment below. I really appreciate it. And again, if you want to see the next upload video on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys um, keep your notification bell on and you can see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel. And by that being said, you guys have a blessed day and be safe out there, you guys. Until then, I will see you guys in the next upload video. Bye-bye.